Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you who have gathered here today. On behalf of the Social Sciences Department, I warmly welcome you all to the inauguration event of the workshop on promoting nonviolent communication and responsible use of media. We now witnessed a video which has been brought forward by the undergraduates of the Social Sciences Department of Intakes 36 and 37, and it is a preview on what this workshop hopes to achieve at the end of the day. In a few moments, with the arrival of the chief guest, we will commence the proceedings for the day. Thank you. Now witnessing the arrival of the chief guest, Major General Melinda Pires, the Vice Chancellor of General Sir John Kudlawal Defense University, along with other distinguished guests. What is nonviolent communication? Nonviolent communication is not simply an approach or a technique focusing on ending disagreements, but rather a means of stopping conflict and violence before it even happens. As Marshall B. Rosenberg once said, I quote, what I want in my life is compassion, a flow between myself and others based on a mutual giving from the heart, unquote. Nonviolent communication calls for each and every individual to increase empathy for others and be responsible for improving the quality of life for themselves and for the sake of those around them. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to take that first step towards a peaceful society through responsible media. General Sir John Kotlavala Defense University, being the only defense university in Sri Lanka, comprises a pool of talented individuals excelling in academics and extracurricular activities, both from military and civilian backgrounds who will one day be the leaders of our country. We will be the beacon of hope, guiding the ships of society from wandering astray, which is why this program would be most beneficial for the participants who have converged here at present in order to understand on how to bridge the gaps in our community, which may not even be visible at first sight. I once again warmly welcome you all and invite you to be a part of this journey of self-development in an attempt to piece together the broken fragments of our society through empathy and to be a part of something bigger beyond our self-interest. General Sir John Kotlawal Defense University is an establishment entailing the life-defining individualities of discipline, honesty, courage, and virtue. KDU is also known for its emphasis on improving knowledge and building professional persona. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the KDU Anthem.
kindly remain standing. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor do the years condemn. Since words cannot repay the debt we owe them, let us stand in respect and silence for one minute to commemorate the ultimate sacrifice of our fallen war heroes. Thank you. Please be seated. Every special occasion in our culture is graced by the auspicious tradition of lighting the oil lamp. Therefore, to inaugurate this event by lighting the traditional oil lamp, I now call upon the Chief Guest, Major General Melinda Pires, the Vice Chancellor of General Sir John Kotlawal Defence University, Brigadier Vipula Chandrasiri, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defence and Administration, Professor Jayanta Arya Ratna, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academics, Mr. Thorsten Bajfried, the Head of Political Section representing the European Union, Mrs. Anne Vorji Chatterjee, Deputy Head of Political Section, also representing the European Union. Mr. Kitsiri Amaratunga, Dean, Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities. Colonel Inoj Herath, Dean, Faculty of Defense and Strategic Studies. Mr. Nuan Herath, Head of the Department, Department of Social Sciences. And Dr. Hemant Premaratna of the Department of Social Sciences, the Project Coordinator for this program. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We might assume that letting others know what we want or how we feel has always been relatively simple and unchanging. However, human communication has seen an extraordinary evolution over time. Long distance communication, which was once done using underbella or hooting, has evolved towards wireless telecommunication. Chats between young couples, which once happened during an evening bath at a river or a well, now happen via social media or instant messaging. This next event shows us exactly that. It's a depiction of this evolution with a hint of nostalgia for what once was and no longer is, as well as an appreciation of what now is. A dancing item performed by the officer cadets and day scholars of General Sir John Kotlavala Defence University will now mark the commencement of this program. Um. Oh, 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 oh,
and gentlemen, please give another round of applause for that amazing performance by the dancing troupe of KDU, including officer cadets and day scholars.
I now humbly invite Mr. Kitsuri Amaratunga, Dean, Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, to welcome the gathering. Good morning, uh, distinguished invitees and ladies and gentlemen. I consider it a great privilege to deliver the welcome address on the occasion of inaugurating the second workshop on promoting nonviolent communication and responsible use of media organized by the Department of Social Sciences of the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities of KDU. First, uh, I would like to very warmly welcome our chief guest this morning, Mayor General Melinda Pires, the Vice Chancellor of KDU, whose visionary and persevering leadership has elevated this university to a height that was unimaginable prior to the era before 2009. And also, if not for him and his resilient leadership, we would not have been able to make the current project a reality, especially even the trying circumstances under the COVID-19 pandemic situation. Sir, we uh, consider your presence on this occasion as a great encouragement to us in all our activities at KDU. Let me also welcome the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipula Chandrasiri, who has been giving us the fullest support and guidance in organizing this event, and also the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Jayantari Ratna, for the much needed academic leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, the workshop we inaugurate today is just a part of a major project on promotion of nonviolent communication and responsible use of media, which was enabled by a generous grant awarded by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, which is the United Nations Global Development Network, along with the European Union. And we are extremely glad that we have here with us today two representatives from the European Union raising this inaugural session. So let me very warmly welcome to KDU and to this inauguration, Mr. Thorsten Bagfried, the head of the political section of the European Union mission in Sri Lanka. Uh, Mr. Thorsten, we feel deeply honored by your gracious presence here today. We also very warmly welcome Ms. Anne Wogia Chatterley, Chatterjee, Deputy Head of the Political Section of the European Mission. Madam, you are very warmly welcome to KDU and to this inaugural moment. At this point, I'd like to gratefully remember Mr. Robert Jukum, the resident representative of, of the UNDP in Sri Lanka. And I would like to welcome the UNDP representatives joining us online, especially Dr. Priyan Seneviratna, the technical specialist, reconciliation and peace building of UNDP Colombo, who has been facilitating the whole project uh, in contact with us in constant communication with us right from the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, the success of the workshop series will surely depend much on the quality of our resource persons. And we are glad to have been able to avail the services of some of the best we could find in the country in our pool of resource persons. And I warmly welcome the four resource persons for today's workshop. Ms. Ramansha Pupalaratnam, NVC trainer, Ms. Vimanshana Panasingha, Brigadier Chandana Vikramasingha, the former media spokesman of Sri Lanka Army, and Dr. Lakshkali Nage, senior lecturer, Department of Social Sciences, KDU. I am sure they will do their best to make the workshop interesting and beneficial for the participants. I also welcome all the deans, directors, professors, and all academics registrar and all administrative staff, adjutant and all crisis officers, 
the Berza, the librarian, internal auditor, and all other invitees who are here with us today. Let me also welcome Mr. W. V. Shantakumar, the former director engineering EAP Broadcasting Company Limited, who is helping us as the media consultant of our project, and Dr. Tamara Jayasundra, the curriculum development consultant of the project. Ladies and gentlemen, this workshop series will be covering a large spectrum of the target population and encapsulating members from the security forces, university and school students, youth leaders such as scouts, and young journalists. The first workshop was for representatives from the tri-services and the police. And today's workshop is dedicated for officer cadets and their scholars of KDU. So let me warmly welcome all the participants who's physically, who are physically present here, as well as those who are joining, the majority of those who are joining us online. Speaking uh, briefly on the program itself, it is a result of an initiative taken by Mr. Nuan Herat, the current head of the Department of Social Sciences, who forwarded a convincing proposal to avail the UNDP grant. Mr. Herat is making a great effort to achieve the objectives of this project, tremendously supported by the project coordinator, Dr. Hemanta Premaratna, Major Viman Shabir Vikrama, Dr. Lakshika Lienege, and many others. Ladies and gentlemen, the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities of KDU takes pride in initiating this new educational pathway to disseminate knowledge in the important domain of nonviolent communication and responsible and ethical use of media, which is intrinsically interwoven with peace and harmony and thus the national security as well. I believe that this project will eventually prove how big an impact social sciences and humanities could make towards the advancement of humanity and human society, especially in an era when the emphasis is on more lucrative educational pathways dominated by science and science related domains. Finally, I wish that the participants will gather important knowledge, form healthy attitudes and develop appropriate skills for becoming responsible citizens of Mother Lanka. Let us together contribute in our small ways for the creation of a harmonious uh, and peaceful world that tolerate differences and respect others. A world in which each individual will live respecting equality, equanimity, and dignity of fellow human beings. I thank you. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the chief guest of today's occasion is Major General Melinda Pires, RWP, RSP, VSV, USP, NDC, PSC, the Vice Chancellor of General Sir John Kutlavala Defense University, the true visionary behind the success story of KDU today, under whose guidance our university's colors fly high in all aspects May I now have the honor of inviting our VC to address the gathering. Mr. Thorsten Bogfred, Head of Political Section, European Union Mission in Sri Lanka. Ms. Anne, Deputy Head of Political Section, European Union Mission in Sri Lanka. Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipula Chandrasiri. Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academics, Professor Jayant R. Radna. UNDP officials who are joining online, Dr. Priyan Seniradna, Technical Specialist, Reconciliation and 
Peace Building, UNDP Colombo, Mr. Mohammed Muzain, Portfolio Manager, Inclusive Governance, UNDP Colombo, Dean Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, Mr. Kitsiri Amartunga, Mr. Nuan Herat, Head of Department, Social Sciences, Dr. Hemant Premaradna, Project Coordinator, our members of the academia and non-academic staff, distinguished resource persons of the workshop, deans and directors, head of departments, senior professors and all academics, officer cadets, day scholars, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is with great pleasure that I address you at this inaugural session of the second workshop on promoting nonviolent communication and responsible use of media, organized by the Department of Social Sciences in the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities at KDU. The university is delighted to have received the support of United Nations Development Program in partnership with European Union Service for Foreign Policy Instruments to initiate this project of teaching nonviolent communication and sharing knowledge on the ethical and responsible use of media. Ladies and gentlemen, with a generous grant worth of more than 21 million rupees from UNDP and EU, KDU intends to execute three main project activities. First, we have planned to conduct a series of workshops on nonviolent communication and the responsible use of media for participants representing different sectors in our society, such as military and police officers, university undergraduates, school teachers and students, young journalists, etc. Secondly, KDU intends to develop a comprehensive academic program based on the ladder system of Sri Lanka qualification framework, which includes certificate, diploma, and degree level programs. And finally, it is planned to establish a center with dig digital infrastructure for media studies, which will be a home for undergraduates at KDU to obtain knowledge on media production, peace media and responsible use of media. This media lab will be established at this faculty building itself. Together, these initiatives will ensure that the project will continue to, continue to the future, educating more and more Sri Lankans on nonviolent communication and responsible use of media. General Sir John Kotalal Defence University being the one and only defence university in Sri Lanka, where all other defence establishments are affiliated to Kotalala Defence University, which includes the National Defence University, uh, Defence Services and Command Staff College at Butlanda, and all military academies in the Army, Navy, Air Force, all those are affiliated to KDU and KDU provides the degree certificate for them. We as a responsible university firmly believe that the peace and social harmony are main pillars of national security and development. And I believe that the long-term ramifications of this project will certainly contribute towards achieving it. KDU has proved that nothing is impossible if it is done it in the right way and right spirit with dedication and commitment. So our innovations in the field of education have paid dividends for the country. Several years back, the scope of KDU was only limited to produce officer cadets for the tri-services of the Sri Lanka Armed Forces. However, since 2012 onwards, we changed that policy and we enrolled day scholars 
police officers and any other person who would like to continue their higher education with KDU, they were allowed to join KDU. This is mainly to harmonize uh, the environment with all segment which is there in the Sri Lankan higher education sector. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm aware, this project on promoting nonviolence and responsible use of media encompasses two essential aspects related to prevention of hate speech and promoting social cohesion. First, it intends to educate the target population about nonviolent communication approaches that are comprised of promoting compassion, love, and healthy values at personal and interpersonal levels. Secondly, it involves promoting ethical and responsible use of media. Today, all of us are more or less becoming media personnel as we continue to interact more and more on social media. In fact, in most of the European countries and in USA, this is also being thought as a subject where very often the military officers need to face the media in different situations. So they have been trained to how to encounter media when they have been questioned or when they have been told to give a brief onto the, for people to know what's going on. Therefore, unless we emphasize the importance of healthy value, values together with compassion and empathy towards other human beings and encourage people to apply themselves whenever they use media in their daily lives, there is a risk that media platforms will produce a lot of unintended outcomes such as hate speech and violent extremism. <coughs> sorry, which have already become a serious threat to the peace and harmony in many societies. Therefore, this project expects to prevent violent expressions and to promote ethical use of media among different segments, mainly representing the youth in the country. As the first comprehensive academic program of this kind in the Sri Lanka university system, there are high hopes that the intended outcomes will pave the way for other successful programs of similar nature in the future. Today, we are pleased to see representatives with us from the donor community of this project, the European Union and the UNDP at KDU. We are extremely grateful to you for joining us today and offering your generous funding for the proposal forwarded by the Department of Social Sciences, led by Mr. Nuan Herath. And let me also congratulate the department for securing two valuable grants in a row within a same year. Previously, the department secured a grant from the Euro, Eurasia Foundation from Japan to conduct a course titled Cultural Linkages Towards an Asian Ideology for around 250 undergraduates of KDU. Our vision is always to look beyond the initial agreements and explore the possibilities for long-term partnerships with international stakeholders like you by multiplying the levels of mutual cooperation. So I believe this initial partnership between KDU and UNDP along with European Union is the first step of a long-term cooperation between us. Coming into today's program, I am pleased to have a well-qualified panel of resource persons at this workshop. I'm sure they will help our students to educate themselves about nonviolence and how we should use media as a res responsible citizens. The workshop will help you to be self-reflective about yourself and to think about how you can transform yourself to become responsible individuals in your social 
conduct. I wish all the best and may all, all of you achieve the fruitful benefits of this workshop in grooming your professionals as well as personal lives. Finally, I really appreciate the initiative of running a workshop on this nature, which is timely and useful to all of us. Further, I appreciate the efforts of the staff of the Department of Social Sciences and the faculty and wish them all success in this workshop as, as well as in all activities being planned under this project. Special appreciation goes to Dean Faculty of Defense and Strategic Studies, Colonel Ino Jairath, then Dean uh, Management and Social Sciences, Humanities, uh, Mr. Kitsiri Amartunga, HOD Social Sciences, Mr. Nuan Herath, and Project Coordinator, Dr. Hemant Premaratna. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring and encouraging address. I now humbly invite Mr. Thorsten Bajfried, the head of political section representing the European Union to address the gathering. Good morning, and uh, let me just, let me just, thank you. Good morning. Let me just start by thanking um, the Vice Chancellor General Pires, um, the Deputy Vice Chancellors, and faculty uh, for the very warm welcome to this wonderful campus here. Um, this is really a beautiful place, and um, it's a real pleasure and privilege to be able to be here this morning with my colleague Anne. Now, um, why am we here? How it started is about two years ago. Um, it is about two years now that. Uh, on Easter Sunday, terror, uh, terror attacks hit uh, churches and hotels in this country. And that was a tragedy not only for Sri Lanka, but also uh, for humanity, for the world. Um, as, as many in Europe um, have also witnessed terror attacks for the European Union, it was important that we can stand in solidarity with the people of Sri Lanka, but also with the authorities. And so we were... Um, trying to see how we can help, how we can help to uh, address counterterrorism, to, to, uh, to address ter um, terrorism, sorry, how to prevent violent extremism. And with that in mind, we were partnering up with the UN Office for Drugs and Crime, and we started a project uh, on building Lankan capacities on counterterrorism and bringing in line uh, um, legal standards with international standards as well. Uh, we also linked up with the UN Development Program to address preventing prevention of violent extremism. Our, oops, sorry, our total support uh, was about six million euro over over eighteen months, and um, and I'm very glad that uh, we're standing here now today to talk about communication. It was last September when we have our regular steering committee on these projects that uh, the government partners came up with the idea of having a workshop that would address communication, nonviolent communication, um, and responsible use of media. Now, the Vice Chancellor just mentioned it, we all become communicators these days. I'm head of political section, I'm the deputy ambassador as well, but I'm also the head of communication. It become for diplomats such an integral part of whatever we do without communication, you, you're not a diplomat in, in a sense, that can be effective. And diplomacy is not only, you know, uh, talks behind closed doors with other dignitaries, it is essentially, and more than anything else, public diplomacy. It's reaching out not only to our governments, but also to, to institutions, to civil society, to academia, and, and to, to try to, to convince and to make your point. Um, now, Communication is also challenging. I mean, we talked about the increasing use of social media. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure if I'm the only one, but I'm still struggling sometimes. Just this one text message, one sentence, you think it's very clear what you want to say, and you suddenly realize uh, something went wrong. 
because the other person could not see that the, there was a hint of irony that you were actually smiling and it was taken the other way because you don't see face to face anymore where you can you know check what the intention is or i put the wrong emoji uh, i need to ask my my daughter of 13 how to help me in, in navigating these things so there are challenges there um there are also some more basic um underlying questions about uh, communication and use of media. One, I think, is the notion of truth and fact. Now, as a social scientist, or those who aspired to, in, in, uh, aspire to be, I think we all agree um, there's the notion of truth is difficult in social sciences, certainly, because what is somebody's truth might be completely different what somebody else's felt truth is. And so this is very important to keep in mind when communicating. What is, what is the other person thinking? Where do they come from? And that's why I thought it's extremely important what the Vice Chancellor just said, that communication is based on values um, and empathy. Try by understanding who you want to communicate to instead of just thinking about what your own truth is and, and try to hammer it down, if I may say so. Um, for effective communication, it, you, know, you need to understand the recipient. And that's where the empathy comes in. Um, of course, there is the notion of fact. Um, some things are simply facts, I would think, which there's less debate about facts versus truth, but still somebody might think what a fact is, which somebody else doesn't. But there are clear cases where non-factual information is put out there. And that's where uh, responsible use of media becomes important, where hate speech needs to be countered, well, simply wrong information needs to be corrected as well. So for all these reasons, I think it's very important that uh, this workshop um, addresses the broader ideas of communication and, and, uh, and use of media. Because it will ultimately, uh, responsible communication, res communication that understands the, the other, will ultimately help in um, bringing people together, in, in including improving understanding among people, but also bringing communities together, or if not bringing together, at least to increase understanding among communities and ultimately, of course, among countries as well. There are, uh, if I may say so, also communication problems between countries because communication is not always uh, uh, done in a responsible way or because sometimes, you know, it's uh, not enough was made to understand each other. So in that way, I um, I wish you a really fruitful training course, and uh, I would like to thank the UN Development Program as well for the good cooperation on this. I would like to thank uh, the Defense University for putting this together, and, and we're looking forward for, for good and continued cooperation. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your enlightening and moving address. We must find time to stop and thank the people who make a difference in our lives. And in this scenario, the people who helped us to complete this mammoth task by sharing their expertise to help develop the curriculum related to nonviolent communication and media and information literacy. I now wish to take the opportunity to thank them for their contribution through sharing views, giving suggestions and sharing content and the time and effort they put into converging through meetings, which were of immense importance. Special thanks goes out to Ms. Maya Leitinen for coordinating all the curriculum development meetings on behalf of UNESCO and for arranging this program to be spearheaded by the expertise of the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations New York or UNAOC and regional experts from South and Southeast Asia. Our heartiest appreciation additionally goes out to Mr. Hezekiel Dlamimi, Program Specialist and Chief of Section, Communication and Information at UNESCO Cluster Office for South Asia, New Delhi. Mrs. Rama Dwivedi, Project Assistant at UNESCO, New Delhi. UNESCO Media Information Literacy Expert and President of the Asian Institute of Journalism and Communication, Mr. Raymond Tuezen, hailing from the Philippines. Mr. Alton Grizzle, Program Specialist at UNESCO, hailing from France. Mrs. Nine Nine Ai, National Program Officer 
at UNESCO hailing from Myanmar, Mr. Thibault Sharatan, Program Manager at UNAOC New York, Mr. Bram Von Haver, Project Management Specialist, Youth and Education at UNAOC New York, Mr. Alessandro Girola, Programming Coordinator at UNAOC New York, and Mrs. Dana Podmolikova, Project Management Specialist, Youth at UNAOC New York. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause in gratitude to these marvelous individuals whose contribution has helped shape this program to what it is today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly direct your attention towards the screen to witness a greeting sent forth by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organizations Regional Director for this event, Mr. Eric Fold, the UNESCO representative for Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, the Maldives, and Sri Lanka, who will be conveying their wishes from afar. UNESCO fully supports the efforts of KDU University and UNDP in its project to promote ethical journalism and non-violent communication in Sri Lanka. In a world facing increasing polarization and hate speech, there is a growing need to push for mutual understanding and peaceful narratives. We believe that empowering communities with the skills and competencies of empathy intercultural dialogue and critical media and information literacy is central to strengthening social cohesion. We congratulate uh, KDU and UNDP and their work to develop both a specialized university curriculum and a workshop series to build up these critical skills. UNESCO looks forward to following and supporting this important work. Although Mr. Fault is not present here with us here in person, we would like to thank him for his words of encouragement. May I now call upon the Chief Guest, Major General Melinda Pires, Vice Chancellor of KDU, onto the stage, accompanied by Mr. Kitsiri Amratunga, Dean, Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, to hand the memento to the representative from the European Union, our guest of honor, Mr. Thorsten Bajfried. Thank you, gentlemen. I now humbly invite Mr. Nuan Herat, Head of the Department of Social Sciences, Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities to deliver the vote of thanks. Mr. Thorsten Bajfried, Head of Political Section, European Union Mission in Sri Lanka. Ms. Anne Chatterjee, Deputy Political Head, European Union Mission in Sri Lanka. Vice Chancellor, 
Major General Melinda Piris, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipula Chandrasiri, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic, Professor Jayanta Ari Ratna, officials joining online from UNDP and UNESCO, deans and directors, resource persons of today's workshop, senior military officers, academic staff members, members of the non-academic staff, and dear students. I, on behalf of the Department of Social Sciences, would like to express my sincere gratitude to the United Nations Development Program and European Union for their generous funding and intervention to initiate this project on promoting nonviolent communication and responsible use of media. It is indeed a great opportunity for our department to collaborate with leading intergovernmental organizations like UNDP and European Union. I thank you very much for having faith on our department, faculty, and the university. Secondly, let me thank Mr. Thorsten Bajfried, Head of Political Section, European Union Mission in Sri Lanka, and Deputy Head, Ms. Anne Chatterjee, Sir and Madam, thank you very much for your gracious presence at KDU. And it is indeed a great pleasure to have you here with us representing the donor community of this project. I'm also very grateful to the officials joining online representing UNDP Colombo. And thank you very much for your precious time and special interest on today's event. Next, I would like to mention my deep sense of appreciation for our Vice Chancellor, Major General Melinda Piris, for his personal interest and giving his blessings all the way to initiate this project and conduct all its programs in a timely manner. And I believe without his leadership, this project would not have become a reality. Sir, thank you very much for giving all the necessary inputs whenever we wanted your guidance. I'm also very grateful to our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipula Chandrasiri, for excellent administrative support and leading the project administration from KDU side. Moreover, I would like to express my gratitude to the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Jayanta Ariratna, all the senior military officers of the university, especially Dean of the Faculty of Defense and Strategic Studies, Director IT, Adjutant, Commanding Officer of KDU, Media Officer, Assistant Adjutant, for all the support extended to the Department of Social Sciences. Especially I must thank, uh, and I must mention the leading role played by our Dean of the Faculty, Mr. Kitsiri Amratunga. Thank you, sir, for guiding and supporting us in all project activities. When it comes to organizing this event, as well as conducting all the project activities, from KDU side, I must mention the support given by the non-academic staff, especially Bursa and his staff, Assistant Registrar and her staff of our faculty. And in addition, Thank you very much for the military officers at the Faculty of Defense and Strategic Studies, Secretary to the Vice Chancellor and Staff of Vice Chancellor's Office, Technical and IT Support Staff, Cadet Mess, Clubhouse Managers, and all other supporting staff who helped us having this event today. Above all, there are a few key personnel I want to mention here. So far, they have been the strength behind whatever the success we have achieved in this project, as well as in this event. First and foremost, may I thank Dr. Hemant Premaratna, coordinator of this project for all his tireless efforts and without his leading role and support, this project would not have come thus far. And I hope you will continue to support me and the rest of the project team in same spirit throughout the project. Dr. Hemanta, thank you very much again. Secondly, I want to express my sincere thanks to military coordinator of the project, Major Vimansa Abe Vikrama, for your wholehearted support to this project right from the beginning. 
and also i want to thank mr w a shantakumar former director engineering of eap broadcasting company limited and who is the consultant for the establishment of the center for media studies under this project you are a great resource person for our project team and i hope you will give us your fullest support to make the proposed media study center fully functioning resource center for all the students in addition a big thank you to dr tamara jayasundara former associate professor at georgetown university washington dc and currently a visiting lecturer at the department of social sciences kdu for agreeing to share her expertise as the consultant for curriculum development of this project my special thank goes to dr harinder vidanage head of the department of strategic studies for his kind assistance extended to us right from the first workshop and i really appreciate your valuable support given to the department of social sciences from united nations a word of thanks to dr priyan senivratta and his team at undp colombo eric fall director and unesco representative for bangladesh bhutan india nepal and the maldives and sri lanka maya letnin her colleagues and expert from unesco and officials from united nations alliance of civilizations new york for sharing their expertise and large number of materials on media and information literacy we look forward to receiving your support throughout this project last but not least i would like to thank the resource persons of today's workshop brigadier chandana vikramasinghe the two nvc trainers ms ramanusha pupalaratnam and ms vimarshana ranasinghe our senior colleague at the department dr lakshika lienage for agreeing to share their expertise and i hope all the participants of today's workshop will make use of your expertise to enhance their knowledge on nonviolence and media finally i would like to express my thanks to academic and non-academic staff members of the department and the faculty the dancing instructor the students of our department and faculty for their active participation in organizing this event and especially ms pumudu jayasurya our project assistant for her tireless effort the credit of today's success goes to all of you also a big thank you to all deans directors librarian hods academic and non academic staff members for being here at this inaugural ceremony thank you very much and i look forward to receiving your support in our future endeavors thank you thank you sir for your moving address this event has set the pace to shine the light of consciousness on places where we can hope to find what we are seeking all humans are dangerous if they are not conscious of their responsibility for how they behave think and feel it is our duty to learn to recognize and empathize with the unmet needs of others to recognize what should be done to make life better for everyone with that we now conclude this inauguration event and we invite you all for refreshments after the national anthem distinguished guests will be ushered to the lobby outside the auditorium and participants of this workshop head towards the second floor and please be seated at the auditorium at 10 am to attend the first session of today's workshop conducted by mrs ramnusha pupalaratnam and mrs vimarshana ranasinghe ladies and gentlemen kindly stand for the national anthem Ji ganu mein apna ki puja na 
Thank you and have a great day.